I am here aboard HMS Tamana on this lovely Auckland day. And behind me, up there, that white dome kind of looks like R2-D2. But in fact, it serves a far more important purpose. That is in fact a phalanx multi-barrel CIWS, or close-in weapon system. It's a six-barrel, 20-millimeter Gatling gun designed to shoot down incoming missiles. The phalanx consists of an M61 Vulcan 20mm Gatling cannon, which is the same weapon found on most American fighter jets like the F-15, 16, 18 and 22. It's well suited for its compact size for the only 1.8 meters long compared to the 6 meters of the GAL-8. The M61 of the phalanx fires a tungsten core auto-pleating uranium armor-piercing round. This ensures shrapnel is kept to a minimum and the idea is to make the missile unstable and crash, thus minimizing collateral damage. Above it is the radar array, which features a search radar, which has a wide field of view, but not much resolution, and a tracking radar, with a narrow field of view, but a high resolution for weapon guidance. To the side is the video tracker, which allows manual use of the phalanx against other targets, such as small boats. And below is the base, containing all the electronics to ensure the system works. The Phalanx is the last line of defense in a fleet's multi-layer defense system, the first of which is fighter cover, in either the air intercept roll or anti-ice ship, to destroy incoming threats before they get to deploy their weapons, followed by long-range SAMs going out to 50 kilometers depending on the missile in question, typically being able to engage both missiles and aircraft, and only then do the Phalanx and other point defense systems come in. For more details, check out Commissar Spinkov's video as he did a very in-depth analysis on what it would take to attack a ship armed um, with the Aegis combat system. The Phalanx has been in service since the 1980s and is by far one of the most popular CIWS systems in the world. Its compact size allowing it to be installed on smaller ships and its built-in radar systems means it's not reliant on other sensors, thus making it quite resistant to battle damage. The Phalanx has even turned up on land in the form of the CRAM, Counter Rocket Artillery and Mortar System, which is basically a Phalanx on the back of a trailer used to defend military bases from attack. And that is something you might not know. <laughs>